to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future of Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. I am Brian, Brian Man Peacock. And I am the coach, Jeremy Brooks. It, was he here last week? I uh, was not. Okay, that's right. I, I thought we were going to have two in a row with Brooks. <laughs> Almost. You will. We, Almost. we will soon. We will soon. Actually, you will now. So we are we're watching Survivor Series. It's just starting now. Uh, me and Brian watched NXT Takeover War Games earlier. You what? You just watched some clips. Yeah, I saw a couple clips online. But uh, I I think you should go back and watch it because it was a really good show. Oh, I am. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, I don't think there's any match not worth watching. I will but say that's usually an NXT show. Yeah, yeah we're just gonna quickly go over it, but because uh, it's definitely. It doesn't. It's not as time consuming as a, as a full WWE pay per view, <laughs> right? So there's but, not a whole lot of promos and crap in between. No, there's not. Which is good. But there is enough to update you on what's going on. Yeah, because we have not. I haven't watched wrestling weekly in months. It's, it's too much. <laughs> too much. Too much going on. But we we've talked that to death. The first match was Lars Sullivan versus Cassius Ono, which Cassius no Lars won. With that weird side back slam thing. Yeah. I don't hate that. Um, there's some people that are upset that Cassius isn't being used well. But I, I think there's plenty of talent at the top right now. And it's okay for Cassius to just be chilling to wait. out. To wait. Yeah. Also, Lars Sullivan is someone... Only that, because Cassius also kicked the shit out of him. He did. <laughs> that's that's one of my favorite Cassius Ono matches I've seen in a while. <laughs> He, like, beat the hell out of that guy. Yeah. I really, I didn't know how it was going to go because Lars Sullivan is such a big, scary guy. And Cassius isn't, I wouldn't label him as scary. Right. But uh, he, he, He's put, big. he put the fear of Cassius in me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was like the old, uh, we talked about this, but we go ahead and do it. Okay. Like the old Chris Hero. Yeah. He br- it's like he brought out Chris Hero. Oh, are you him. saying don't call him Chris Hero? Yeah. But yeah, but you're also referring to Chris Hero. Right. And that you know character that weird. that guy used to play. Yeah, but what was weird, what scared me a little bit today, was I saw, it was like a little gif or a clip of that video or something, posted from the Chris Hero Facebook page. Right. Which I believe is still his page, too. He probably has something to do with it, but it, it's probably ran by someone else. That's usually how it works. Because there's the Cassius Ono page, and yeah. there's also a Chris Hero to his, I mean, his official Instagram and everything. Okay. So. But yeah, I was like, oh, why is this coming from Chris Hero? I'm confused. What's going on? I kind of hope he one day changes back to Chris Hero. Me too. Just because I think that name is better. Oh, yeah. It's a lot better. Yeah. But he also might not want to give it up. Yeah. It's very possible. Because that's not his real name. Um, and I, I forgive me if I forget any matches, but then we, I believe we had a Velveteen Dream versus Aleister Black. My favorite match. The best match of the night. The only Holy match I cared shit. about this whole weekend. Dude, Velveteen Dream has gone from me being like, yeah, he's interesting, to, yeah, one of my favorite dudes in NXT. Yeah. Absolutely. I've seen them at, are they considered house shows? At just small shit. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you we're would gonna, call them house gonna shows. We're going to call them house shows. Just for the sake of simplicity. Yeah. The best house shows out there. Yeah. The, yeah, I've seen a, at least one, if not two or three. The best or the worst. We've been to a couple that were pretty lackluster. Yeah. But that's I, also... You just sign up for that when you go to NXT because they're 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's... I wasn't too impressed with him, but I've seen him on TV. I don't think we've seen him I, up against anybody... That was super good. I could be wrong about that, but he had a great character. I like the character. I wish his name was different. Yeah? I wish he was something, something, the Velveteen Dream. Okay. I wish the Velveteen Dream was like an add-on to his name, like a title. Right. Like, I wish his name was not the Velveteen Dream. Yeah, that makes sense. Because... That would probably happen eventually. I hope so. Um... Like Jeremy Brooks, the Velveteen Dream. There you go. Could you imagine that? I'll ride with it. Look at that. I'll ride with it. You can name me Telescoper. Or we could name her Telescoper. Riley's now Telescoper. Uh, Then we had the four-way... We had the four-way women's match 
uh, Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, Ember Moon. And Kyrie. And Ky- yeah, thank you. Kyrie Sane. Yeah. Solid match. Very solid Very, match. Very, yeah. And uh, I really did not know who was going to win. I agree. Although, I, 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 except I did because I saw the spoiler. But even right. watching it, because I, I scrolled real quick, I wasn't 100% sure. But I was still like, oh, maybe I saw it wrong. Yeah, any of them could have won. I feel like Peyton Royce was the most interesting choice. No, I don't like her at all. I love Peyton I Royce. I think she's boring. I think she's great. Her, her and, uh, and uh, Billy, Billy Kay, Kay are the best. They're iconic. <laughs> uh, they will be. You know, first time I saw her, I swear I thought I went to school with her because she looks just like someone I went to high school with. Did you go to school in Australia? I did not. Nikki Cross could have easily won the match as well. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that. But Kyrie Sane is also an interesting choice because she just won- She just beat 31 other women, basically. Right. Uh, but Ember Moon also 100% deserves it. Yeah, I'm very glad Ember Moon won. And I mentioned this when we were watching it, but I feel like when she lost to Asuka... At the last, not the last one, in, in Texas. Right. Everyone said, okay, that's Ember's time to shine. It's her hometown, all that type of stuff. They knew. That's they the one knew. she got injured, right? No, I don't think no. so. That's one where she came back. Oh, that's when she came back. But that, that was a solid match. And that also, uh, it was kind of weird with the two rings being there the whole time. Yeah. I mean, and- it's obviously they had to do it. Yeah. I like it like that. You, it, it brings, but matches should have just been War Games matches. Because well, they saved then, the one they, they ring. They only had like two War Game matches back then, though. They, they used one ring, then used the other one, they used the other one, they used the other one. That's what they did. Yeah, yeah that's what they did on that pay-per-view. That, that's how they used to have back in the day. They should have just let them go into both rings. I guess they probably could have. <laughs> that would have been cool, too. Yeah. I kind of wish one of the other matches would have, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, We had the heavyweight champ. NXT Championship, whatever. The NXT yeah. Championship, uh, Drew McIntyre uh, versus Andrade Cien Almas. Um, Cien won, which I was surprised McIntyre dropped the belt already. Yeah, uh, he hasn't had it for too long. No, not long at all. I think since the last pay-per-view, the takeover. Sad to say. But um, maybe he's coming to the main roster now. Sad to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Drew's ready. I think Drew was... Beyond ready, he didn't need to go to NXT. He did get the belt real quick, so they might be fast tracking him. Yeah, I do gotta say, that was a cool kill. Yeah, but uh, Andrade is somebody that has put the work in. I feel like he's really good. I feel like him with this Vega girl is the little bit of flavor he needed for his character because she's super interesting. She's kicking people's asses. Yeah, I, it's cool <clears throat> as hell. I like that McIntyre, like, when she went to Hurricane Rotterdam and just kind of put her back up there on the apron. Yeah, there was talk about, is McIntyre going to slam her or punch her? Or... No. That's funny, because when you mentioned that earlier, um, earlier this week I saw a clip from an old Raw where Stone Cold and Triple H were beating the hell I out of Lita. Too. I oh, bet they, that they clip... destroyed her, dude. That yeah. clip was probably because people were asking, is McIntyre going? Oh, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, they beat her with a chair. They hit her with a stunner. Hit her with a pedigree. They beat the shit out of that fine-ass woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind, like, Candice LeRae versus Joey Ryan and stuff like that. But right. it's, all, it's WWE. That stuff's not going to happen. I don't not think... Not anymore. No. Yeah, if they happen, it'd be like protests and marches and bullshit. Yeah. And right well, now, you so. got to... Also, we had, you know, Miz and whatever... His chick's name Maurice? is Maurice. Yeah, I don't know. Is yeah, and, boy, and yeah, yeah. Uh, Nikki. Yeah, but but even then they did the, you know, the women fight the women. Yeah. Or I can be like Nigel McGuinness. I can say the girls fight the girls. I mean, the women fight the women. Disregard ah. that last sentence. <laughs> that was believe. funny. That was probably my favorite part of the women's match. Are people are people really get upset <clears throat> about him calling them girls? I guarantee you they would. I think that's probably just what he says in everyday life. He calls them girls. Probably. And it's, it just slips out. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, it's all right. Um, and then finally we had the War Games match, which was pretty cool. After all the right. entrants were in Because the, the match was, like, very slow, pretty boring. Yep. And then you added a little bit of chaos into it, and it got interesting. Like I, like I said, I think 
WWE got a great deal on some shark cages. And now they're like, guys, we got to use these damn cages. We got them for 90% off. We got shark cages just filling up the warehouse. We got to use them. Yeah. How are we going to use them? <laughs> yeah. Let's definitely. hang them above the ring. Let's hang them. I wonder how much room Killian Dane and Wolf had in that cage. Not a lot. <laughs> Killian Who Dane started took for up Roddy a lot and AOP? Of... What's Roddy that? did. Yeah, Roddy did. So AOP must have been squished into their cage, too. Yeah, probably more so. <laughs> but Killian Dane takes up a lot of real estate. Yeah, he does. God, did he kick so much ass, though. He did. Awesome. I'm a big Killian Dane fan now. Yeah. And on top of his personal music, which, by the way, is incredible. Yeah. Um, well, all of this made me a bigger fan of all of them. Right, yeah. Except AOP. I still don't really like them. I, <laughs> I have come to like AOP. They are still pretty boring. They still need something. I appreciate them. I like now. Roddy being with him. That made them that made them a little more interesting. He's such a faction guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a big faction in ROH. He was in uh, the House of Truth. Yeah, oh, there's that's a, there's, what it is. Yeah, the House of Truth. Yeah. There's a there's a a washer in the background. I'm sorry if you can hear that. You probably can. Makes me there. think of a rap song I wanna blow up and sing right now. Do it. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Split some up. bars. Also speak up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A little farther away. My apologies. Go ahead. Throw some bars. No, I'm, Raise... not, I'm not well enough to throw in the bars right now. The bar. Do it. <laughs> Do, it. Do some freestyle. 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 Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Bad ass. <laughs> A Marty whoop, Spurl whoop. freestyle right here on the Future Villains podcast. You heard it first. So we do it Which podcast? Little... What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good night. Yeah, it's gonna be a good night. It's already started. The uh, the okay, do we want to say anything else about the War Games match? I mean, it was fun. It was a cool hardcore match. I didn't know it was gonna go hardcore. Yeah, that yeah. was interesting. <laughs> and then Killian starts to get in the ring, and people start chanting, "Give us tables or whatever." Yeah. And he's he like, throws his arms in the air. Right. <laughs> They're getting tables. Fine. Yeah, if you didn't watch it, watch it. Yes, very, very, very good. Match. I guarantee you, it's gonna be better than Survivor Series. It always is. What are you talking about? Always. I think Survivor Series is going to be good. But it's not going to be as fun. Right. That's the thing. Um, Roman versus Big E right now. Okay, real quick, because we didn't do this on the last episode. We did the predictions, but we also didn't know that gender was going to drop the belt. Uh, AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar tonight. I feel like AJ Styles is going to win. Because he needs... He doesn't need this win... But he needs it more than Brock. He kind of does, I think. Because He's so over. Yeah. Just being AJ Styles. Right. And if he beats Brock, that's a big deal. Yeah, that is a big deal. I hope he wins. Yeah. I think Brock's going to win. Okay. But I hope. I hope. With Obi- all my hopes. Hope. <laughs> with Brock, my Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. Brock is going to win. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. So they're gonna, if something else is going to happen tonight, they need Brock to win for the final, you know, Countdown. Well, not final countdown. I'm freaking out. Final countdown. What the hell is Big E doing? I guess he broke wind. <laughs> All right, so we're going to watch the uh, the Shield versus... Oh, so you got Brock? Yeah, Brock. AJ, Brock, Brock. Yeah. I, you can't hear me pointing. I got AJ, Brian's got Brock. <laughs> Brooks got Brock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why can't you hear me pointing, audience? Okay, we're going to watch the Shield versus the... New- <laughs> we're going to watch the Shield versus the New Day. Shield versus... Let's hurry up. All right, so we just watched The Shield versus The New Day, and that was as good of a match as it needed to be. That's a good start to this pay-per-view. Yeah. That was all right. It was a good match. Six guys that are super talented, they put on a good match. They're, oh, wait, look at that. Got a Five guys ball. that are super talented. What's that? <laughs> Who's not super talented? I'm sorry. Oh, okay, Roman Reigns is talented. <laughs> I, I like him enough. Fair enough. Yeah, there's a, there's a little score marker at the bottom. Oh, Riles got one point. Nice. Oh, I, there I, it is. I don't think we mentioned this, but I like Raw better. But I think I like the wrestlers on SmackDown much better. Sure. But I it's like hard SmackDown to because against. they're only two hours. Yes. <laughs> and it's less talking, more wrestling. Yes. Yeah. But I like the people on Raw. It's yeah. hard for me to root against Raw. Because I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm super loyal. Like, if anything, I'm, I am loyal over everything. <laughs> but... What the... This movie looks fun. What the hell is on the screen right now? It's a bull. It's a bull. It's a... It's a the Love fucking rock. Oh, oh, John Cena's the bull? Okay, so it... Bullshit. He's, he's not a bullfighter. He's a bull lover. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Like, I think he's like a really, really oh nice god. bull. He loves he, the rock. Who doesn't want to do bull fighting. The Brahma Bull Jr. You're right, this is a bunch of bullshits. <laughs> he's Brahma Bull Jr. Uh, good lord. Okay, so that was a good match. Is there something there you guys wanted to talk about you just found? About the women's match? Uh, yeah, I didn't really read it. So, so like... what, what's supposedly going to happen? Carmella's going to come out. Well, I was reading on a Daily Wrestler Entertainment page on uh, Facebook. They were saying that Carmella won't come out for the Raw 5-on-5. Five five oh, she's going to refuse to come out. Yeah. Okay. Because technically she's the, uh, wa- the Raw Women's Champ. Carmella so she will come. Yeah, that's what it says here. Since when? I don't know. That's why they just... And they say her spot will be taken by Paige for the SmackDown side. Here's the Raw woman right now. And she is not on there. So something's going to happen. Something's going to happen, I think, when Paige might show up. If Paige show up, I will go to sleep. You don't like Paige? I don't, I, I dislike, I, I, I don't like her. I just don't like what's going on. You're right. Right. You know, I agree. It's, and this is something we talked fair. about last week. I don't like talking about wrestlers' personal lives. I think it's gross. I think it's weird. I agree. But she's kind of forced our hand. What she did outside wrestling, Yeah. anybody else would have been fired. But she did it because of Alberto Del Douchebag, and she's single now. Before that, so, well, I'm talking about what I got saved on my phone from Pornhub and all that shit. But we won't go into eh, that. Whatever. That's whatever. That, well, anyway, we won't ask because I'm going to have to go back home and investigate that, but... <laughs> okay. Well, apparently we're about to watch the, the Survivor Series 5-on-5 five five women's match. That's going to be good. Uh, that's what it looks like. No, not bathroom break. That's uh, <laughs> that's the, the two Raw women, or the Raw and SmackDown women's champion. No, this is ass in the rain for that one. Who, it was Charlotte and, oh, is it Charlotte and Alexa? Charlotte and Britt, yeah. Oh, never mind. That's going to be a good match. Yeah, this is the bathroom break. Only because the rest of the matches are still going to be good. Look who, look, freaking, she all right. It's just, who, who's the captain for Raw? Freaking Alicia Fox. Bathroom break. <laughs> all right. You convinced me. <laughs> all right, so we just watched the five on five. Oh, well, shit, where'd you come from? Murder Horse is back, bitch. I don't think they can hear you. <laughs> Probably not. Murder Horse is back. Murder Horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little hard to say, okay? Murder Horse? Yeah. Especially when you have a hard time with your R's. Oh, okay. I've always had a hard time with it. I was in speech therapy for that. Okay. I was in speech therapy for things, too. I used to say shruck. Shruck? Instead of truck. So, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> we, we, we watched the match. <laughs> we watched the match. Uh, team Roberts, Team SmackDown for the women. And Oscar won. Yeah, Oscar won. Oscar won. Oscar won. Yeah. Oscar won. Yeah. It's true, though. And thank God, because, like, oh, the thought of Natalia beating Asuka just made me sick. Yeah. Physically ill. Yeah, it really would have. Uh, what is this? This year, more people watch WWE Network than ever before, and we've got two words for you. Suck it? <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> that would have been so much better than this. Screw thing. you, too, WWE. Good Lord. I said thank you. I just watched it for the cartoons. Have you watched the cartoon? <laughs> yeah. Is it good? Yeah, yeah it's fun. That Camp WWE, freaking hilarious. That's a great show. That's hilarious. That is a fucking fantastic show. And I show. watched the old, like, old, old WrestleMania, like the one I used to have in the, the Astrodome. I can't remember which one it was. The Superdome? No, the Silverdome? No, it was the Superdome? Astrodome. It's not the Superdome. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It was the Astrodome. When uh, Shane McMahon bought WCW. Right. They had uh, the Legends, uh, Royal Rumble, Battle Royal, and all that stuff. It was just nice watching the old stuff. Yeah, it's good to go back and watch some old stuff. But this match we just saw, it wasn't that bad. It was a good match. I got kind of bored when Alicia Fox was fighting. Alicia, bro- Alicia Fox. I'm so over Alicia Fox and Natalia. Those are the two weakest parts of the match. Yeah. Um, all, and, and Tamina and Nia Jax didn't really do much. No. I yeah. mean. Sadly. I, I counted I, it out. Yeah, that was weird. A lot, of, actually. There were quite a few falls that were pretty weird. It just—I think they were just like, how many weird things can we fit in here? Like, I think the Survivor Series, Survivor Series match should be no disqualification. Okay. You shouldn't win it on a fucking count. Sure. Yeah, that's just stupid. That would make it more interesting. 
almost like a hardcore Survivor Series. Oh, I guess it doesn't even need to be hardcore. Well, the way WWE does it now, it's like, it can be like, which is what, what I'm trying to say. It could be uh, no disqualification, but they still won't use no, like, no chairs or nothing. Well, it's like, uh, what match is like that? There's a match that's like that where it's no disqualification, but you almost never see weapons used. All of them now, because they don't use weapons. They all do no, they, they, well, they spray each other yeah. through the wall. Right. And that's it. And they, they tap each other on the announcer's table. There is a match, and tell me in the comments section, because it's a no disqualification match, but like weapons never get used, and I can't think of the name of it. But, oh, Triple Threat. Triple threat matches are no disqualification. That's a good point. Yeah, but they just don't use weapons. You just can't be counted out and shit like that. Um, also, I think submission matches are no disqualification. Stuff like that. Yeah. Weird stuff. Just, Let me I know just, in the comments if there's anything else I'm forgetting. I just don't like the way, you know, especially uh, Nia Jax, she get eliminated by getting counted out. Yeah, that's lame. First of all, it was too obvious anyway, so, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. I, I, and I wanted to defend it by saying, well, this is going to set up for Nia Jax versus Tamina later, but they're on different shows. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So this pay-per-view doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, it kind of doesn't, but it, there's still going to be some interesting matches. I don't know if there's an interesting promo going on right now, but I'm assuming not. Stephanie and Shane are, or Stephanie and Daniel Bryan are yelling at each other. But it's whatever. I don't really care about the promos anymore. <laughs> the match was good. Uh, Paige didn't come out. Thank God. Thank God, yeah. Um, anything else to add? It was just a good match. I'll, I'll say it was a decent well. match. Yeah. It was entertaining. Decent match. You War Games is still better. Oh, yeah. That's always. Out. All right, so we just watched slash kind of watched because we were talking about other shits. Um... <laughs> It was a fine match. It was Baron Corbin versus The Miz. U.S. Champion versus Intercontinental Champion. And Baron Corbin murdered The Miz and The Miz Taraj. Yeah. As he should. Yeah. I don't like either. Baron wants to. I like his new music, though. It's cool. Yes, his new music is fantastic. And like, you guys know I'm, I'm, I'm a Miz fan. I like The Miz. But Baron Corbin, he's going to be doing things one day. Dude's awesome. I agree. So, he's, he's a future. He is, absolutely. I think he is a future champion. Um, well, that was pretty much it. It was just a good match. The first win for SmackDown Live. Uh, I guess we'll see what's next. Yeah, I don't even know what match is next. Or, uh -huh. We'll see. Okay, so that was the, the tag team Raw versus SmackDown. The Usos versus the, the Bar. Sheamus and Cesaro. It was a solid match. <clears throat> Stupidest name ever. What's that? The bar? Or? The bar. Yeah, I like. I kind of like it. We are the bar. Mm, go to the bar. <laughs> and do you like the bar, or do you like Shizaro better? Shizaro. No, no. Because <laughs> we came up with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, well, that was a pretty solid match. All again, all four of these guys are are talented. Yeah. They they threw a super kick party. That was not a super kick party. That's. That really fucking bothers me that they send that cease and desist to the Young Bucks and then they continue to use Young Bucks stuff. That's they're fucked more, up. Just they use it more cleaner though. Super Kick Party was not a thing before the Young Bucks, right? Am I right? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was. Like the term Super Kick Party? Yeah. Probably not. Was coined by the Young Bucks. But, you know, if they got tassels. They're doing super kicks. They don't got tassels. Then I don't know why the fuck it was uh, super kicking <laughs> anybody. You don't super kick if you don't have tassels. Look, there you go. Well, they got a little string on their pants. Yeah. Maybe Did they have tassels before they went black? No, I don't think so. They wore the shorts. No. So yeah, yeah, they've always done super kicks. No super kicks for them. So, yeah, that, that was a solid it. match. It was a fine match. That that tag at the end. That was cool. That Jimmy was or nice. Jay, whoever did it, I can't tell the difference between the two of them. Jumped out of the ring, did a tupe suicida, and tagged his brother in, and I think took out Cesaro, maybe? Whoever was outside. I think it was Cesaro. Yeah, yeah. Cesaro was outside. And then the other brother splashed Sheamus, and one, two, three, the match was over. Yeah. Um, we got some uh, figure fed going on right yeah, now. Yeah, I noticed that. Dude, I was at Taurus and Us the other day. Yeah? And they got a pretty nice section. 
for WWE. Yeah, WWE stuff. Yeah, yeah they do. Just their so does Walmart. Night. Walmart got another section too. No, yeah. Walmart it's like they got a they uh they got a wrestling ring there at Toys of Us. A pretty good size ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It costs a good a lot of money, but the way the ring is, oh, yeah. shit, I'll buy it. For I, me. I want, they had a uh, elite T.J. Perkins figure. I saw it. Oh, they had an Austin Warrior and somebody else. Yeah. Figure in it. But <clears> somebody, <throat> somebody opened all of them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that pissed me off. Then they had one with Diesel and uh, Razor Mordy with the yeah, cool. shirts. Nice. And they had like a couple more people in one box. It was, it was, they had some nice stuff there. Yeah, I told Jess, I was like, take a picture of this figure. I want it. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, picture so she knows what to get you. Yeah. Because he comes with a cruiserweight title. Five Below had wrestling figures. Really? Yeah, they had the Daniel Bryan. I almost got it. I should have got it. It was like, uh, on the back of it, it said, like, thank you, Daniel. Like, stuff like that. Oh, that figure. Yeah. Uh, what they we had that, and I get? can't remember what else. Yeah, I only like, get elites now, though. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I just don't get wrestling figures. <laughs> I haven't bought figures in a while. There's too many of them. There's too many. So many new Star Wars figures came out I gotta get. I missed my last time. So, I realized something about this pay-per-view. I think I said it on the podcast We're earlier. Talking about toys instead of the match? Yeah. <laughs> I think I said this earlier, that the match the earlier didn't matter. Mm-hmm. That's why this pay-per-view is not gelling with me. Not None really of this matters. matters. <clears throat> There's no storyline at all. There was they were going to get the conclusion of the Raw versus SmackDown thing. Uh, you know, no, under, why is he so high? Probably a rapper. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah we're going to get the conclusion to that story. But other than that, what the fuck story are we getting tonight? Uh, which show is better? But is it? Because that's very subjective. Like, I will hope, like, after this, someone will, like, let's say, like, when we talk about Tamina Snooker and, uh, and, uh, Nia Jax. Yeah. I would like to see them two go on after this. Yeah. But they won't because they're on different shows. Like, then back then, after Survivor Series, they kept the fuse going. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody knows. And now we're, oh, the Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte. This should be a good match. This should be a nice nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Too much booty walking in the ring. Oh, my God. Yeah, thank God Natalia lost the belt. She had it? Yeah. You didn't? Yeah, dude, she had that. It was on oh, Canadian that, News. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Canadian. Canadian News. It was the only Canadian news. <laughs> it, all the hockey teams suck this year. Go Preds. Go Preds. Oh, okay. So <laughs> now we're talking about hockey. Is that is that how bad this pay-per-view is? Is this a bad pay-per-view? No, it's, it's really not. not. It's, okay. It's Trust me, time. I'm going to be the first one to tell you when it is. Yeah, I know. And it's, it's really not. You know what I was thinking about earlier, two days ago? I was in the bathroom where I washed my hands and the uh, Great Balls of Fire song uh, popped in my head. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I thought about Brian. I'm like, I'm going to taste Brian Great Balls of Fire and see what he does. Charlotte had a good moment with her dad. Yeah, see, I don't know right what here, this was. What was uh, this? this? I, I, I mean, guess because they did the 30 for 30. He almost died. So I guess he came back and, it, and you know, he's happy to see his daughter. But it, to me, it made it seem like she just won the fucking belt. For first time ever. Right. Oh, uh, right. You know what I mean? That's what, a lot of people like, did she just win it or did she win it before? Did she just won it oh, before. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, oh. Won, she fucking, she started with the new belt. She was yeah. a world champion. I think so. I think it was just, a, it was a nice moment between them. I think it was just for Rick. A little bit, yeah. sure. You know, he been, That's he been, okay. He's been through hell the past couple yeah. months and stuff to see his daughter win a title again. Rick Flair gets teared up about it. It's his daughter being champion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. What's that? I'm going to be like that when my daughter starts Sure. Winning. Champion and good lord, when my daughter start winning belts and titles and Charlotte's shit. incredible. He has every right to be extremely proud. Well, I wish I could freaking Got, calm down <laughs> before you. All right, let's, let's watch the match. Let's watch the match. All right, so we just got uh, Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte. Alexa representing Raw and Charlotte versus representing SmackDown. And I guess since Raw women won earlier. Charlotte had to win this one. That's the only reason. It had to be. That girl, too beautiful to lose. <laughs> Alexa? She's the goddess of WWE. She is the asset of the WWE. 
Hey, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god. Charlotte looked good too. You didn't touch, you know. We won't go into that detail. So you said, Brian, that she has to win because Raw won earlier. Right. I hate that you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see Charlotte's even shaking her head, yes. Oh, she said, she's I'm helping sorry. her up. We have to win. Oh, no. Yeah, right. Woo. Yeah, Alexa's Woo. just not taking it. Well, you know what? Unless cause she can get over the shit because she's still champion. Yeah. But again, see, that's why this pay-per-view is kind of bumming me out because none of this shit matters. They're not even like dream matches, really, because we're we I'm sure we've gotten Alexa versus Charlotte before. We're going to in the future. We've seen champions face champions. They're dream matches for certain people. Are they? For the WWE fan, for the WWE universe. Okay. The people who probably are not listening to this show. Okay, right. These are dream matches. And you know what? I kind of envy those people. Sure. I get I that. I wish. You could just see this through that lens. Yeah. I wish this is what made me... Ex- I wish this was exciting for me. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I'm saying, like, I wish... It better have a better ending to this show, I'll tell you that right now. You wish that you could watch this like you watched an ROH show? Yeah. But see, this is this is my whole problem. The reason I don't get as into ROH and, and some like the indie stuff is because they don't have as much of a storyline going. Usually it's just like, I want to be champion. Me too. That's the whole storyline. Well, there are stories. It's just harder to follow. Much oh, harder shit, to follow. Oh, shit. Josh Reddick is there. Hey, Josh Reddick. He's part of the Houston Astros <laughs> baseball team. Now, I'm just talking like this because and he's Brian got two know, belts. He does Brian have two belts. Thing Looks about like he guy. probably earned one of those. <clears throat> well, Brian doesn't know a damn thing about who did show, who just show on TV. Do you? All right. Yeah, he played baseball <laughs> for the Houston Astros, who just won a World Series. Oh, okay. That's why he has good the job, Google. That has the eight. What? <laughs> what do you say? The good job. <laughs> oh, great! Class champ is gonna be in fucking Boston. John Cena gonna win a fucking championship there because they're Boston. Oh, don't even say that. What Kid Rock? Oh, for the Survivor Series. <laughs> Greatest show on her. You know, if they showed a Quidditch player on here, I'd know who they were. Yeah, you would too. I would. I know right. you would. Because that's I'm a real me. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Collegiate Quidditch is a real thing. You know what? Quidditch. Yeah. Quidditch? Quidditch? Collegiate Quidditch? Okay. It is real. Yeah, Coll- real. Collegiate? Yep. It's a, it's a sport. Stop. It is 100%. Stop. It really 200% <laughs> even. It really is because you can look it up online. Yeah. I was watching a football game. Uh, oh my goodness. I apologize <laughs> for that, folks. <laughs> That came Damn. out of nowhere. That's <laughs> so Bruce reacts to football. God. <laughs> it was, uh, oh, Quidditch. It was, uh, I think it was Stony Brook University. They have a Quidditch team that goes nationally and play at all the universities and actually compete for a title for Quidditch. FSU does. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of colleges And they're have good, that. too, from what I know. Like, when I, when I first saw that, I had to look it up online myself, and I'm like, them heifers got some different vibes, thinking, you know, but I'm watching them do it, and I'm like, damn, that's yeah. pretty bad at. It's intense. Did you call them heifers? I did. <laughs> They're grabbing each other's sticks. Yeah, you love it. Yeah. Got the broom between their legs, <laughs> twirling around like they're a stripper. Yeah, but then they'll grab it and knock you to the ground. It looks pretty it rough, actually. It gets pretty intense, and yeah. they go to the library and read the AP exams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what yeah, the hell we That's how with? we do it. I'm sorry, this is a wrestling podcast. Yeah. That match was so That boring. shows you <laughs> how boring this is. I guess Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles coming up next. Yeah, hopefully shit's about to pick up. I hope this match is good. I swear to Christ, if it's six seconds long, oh man. I'm giving it eight. You know what I'm worried about? Right, let's put our bets in. How long is this match going to last? I'm saying eight seconds. Six. I don't know, but I hope it don't be like when he beat the shit out of Randy Orton and opened him up. That was pretty intense. Also, that never led to anything. No. That sucks. Does anything lead to anything with Brock? Nothing from <clears throat> nothing leads to nothing. Exactly. I gotta have something. It's Brock's new entrance music. Can you imagine that? God damn it, Brock. Can you imagine the Brock? Uh, the, the Brock. <laughs> the, the Brock Lesnar coming out to, like, Bee Gees. 
I would. Like, yeah. that, that would. UFC. <laughs> Stay away. They can do anything on you. I bet UFC have fucking pyro too, bitch. My opponent's gonna need to stay alive. Stay. Alive. Yeah, I don't. Th- I don't think UFC has. Oh, speaking of yeah, UFC, the uh, do they have pyro? Oh, sorry, not pyro. I thought you were saying music. No, yeah, I know that music. You the uh, the COO of UFC just partnered with Megabots to get a robot fighting championship going. Oh fuck yeah! I'm excited. Did you see the fight? No. Between the U.S. and... Oh, yeah, that's stupid. What? That's stupid. Did you did you see the new one? I think so. The, the real one. The live one. I don't know. Because everyone was so upset with the one you're probably talking about. Okay. Everyone was like, oh, this was totally fake. Yeah. I guess they, they redid it. I haven't seen the new one. I was happy with the original one. And it was just as lame as I figured it was going to be. You're watching wrestling. What yeah. are talking about? No. It was I- the same thing. But I get with that. robots. <laughs> but it was just, it was slow and clunky and weird. It was the Brock Lesnar robot. Listen, I grew up with BattleBots. The That's what I wanted. But yeah, but there's humans in there now. No, no, no. It was Great Kali versus Great Kali. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think the Japanese one was pretty intense. I don't know. The US one was like... It wasn't doing Kali. it for me, but hopefully this match right, will. But I don't want none, so... You don't want none. Well, I, I gotta was, say, guys, go ahead. I was wrong. <clears throat> I We're was all lo- wrong. <laughs> a lot longer than eight seconds. I, I'm not even mad that Brock won. I'm mm. not mad at all. This actually, this was the best match tonight. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> they, it didn't take a lot, but they went far above the bar that <laughs> that was set. Oh well, yeah, that's true. What was the first match? Oh, it was a Shield versus New Day, which was a good match. That was a good match, but this one right here. This was a fucking great match. Name one wrestler to take Brock Lesnar to a limit like that. Uh, like, legit, like, have Cena? him on the brink of giving up. Cena? I guess Roman have counts. Like that? Yeah, well, Cena at uh, Extreme Rules one year beat the shit out of him with a chain, busted him open. Mm. Um. Goldberg? No. No, nah, they match either Kurt 5, Angle. 10, or 15 seconds. Not recently. No, not recently. Right. No, I'm not talking recently. No, I won't go recently ever. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. The Rock probably had SummerSlam back Who in the New fuck? York. Who's Brock wrestled recently? Roman? Nobody. Roman? <laughs> Roman? Roman? Roman and Roman, right? Yeah. All, all five no, of them different Goldberg. people. Goldberg. Whoever he fought in UFC. I just mean this run. I don't know. Just Roman. Feels like it. I, Goldberg at WrestleMania. That's wrong though. He's had other matches. Nah. Has he? Nah. I guess after he has he, it. After he beat Goldberg at WrestleMania, he come with Dark. Oh, it's been Roman. Who did he beat for the belt? Where? When? Who? Who did he beat for this belt? Oh, he's, he's just Goldberg. always had it, hasn't he? <laughs> he just. He beat Goldberg for it. He no, didn't he beat Kevin for it? Nah. If, I think he did. Nah. Nah. <laughs> you can't just say nah to everything. Listen, I'm, I'm trying. Boys, I was in. Not really, you, I was outside. Oh, okay. I was, just saying. I was outside, all right? Goldberg had that. He beat Goldberg for that. He had it ever since. I feel like you're right. Oh, Goldberg took it from Owens, didn't he? Yeah. Because oh, I was yeah. mad. Yeah, because Goldberg as challenged as Owens, what, at Fastlane? Yeah. Yeah, it was at Fastlane. Like that. And Goldberg won it then. Then Brock won it at WrestleMania. And I'm pulling up the wiki now, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you're... Oh, my Brock God. been off and on the scenes ever since. Yeah, because he's he's kind of a... Part-time. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, the last really good match was uh, Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, and Lesnar. Oh, yeah. That, what what, what uh, pay-per-view was that? Oh, Samoa Joe. He had a good match with Samoa Joe. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's Goldberg, Samoa Joe, the Fatal 4-Way... And then Boring Reigns, and now AJ Styles. I forgot he fought uh, Swan Joe. Which was great. This was, this actually was pretty good. But this one was, this one was good. This humanized Brock majorly. Brock yeah. had very many moments of almost losing. And I love that he hit the, the forearm, and I called F5, it didn't happen. And <laughs> then the second forearm. Yeah, that happened. Probably one of the coolest F5s, by the way. Uh, is this going to be a documentary about Kevin Owens? Oh, I hope so. Is that what we're... Oh, hell yes! 
Network documentary series premiere for Kevin Owens. Oh, that's yes. going to be hard for me to watch. Holy shit. Wow. I love Kevin Owens. Oh. He's the reason I'm back in wrestling. Because <laughs> of Kevin Steen. That's awesome. 365, Kevin Owens. You don't get emotional it follows a Kevin. year of their career. That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. What? You get emotional when you watch? I'll probably get a little emotional, yeah. That's good. There's that. not a lot of wrestlers I get emotional about. Kevin's one of them. I respect yeah. that, Jacob. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. Because, you know, again, they're a big part. Of, I'll tell you, Young Wolves Rising, the Ring of Honor pay-per-view from I don't know how many years ago. Kevin Steen and um, Davey Richards, I believe, what was the like fuck? the main event. What? Yeah, John Cena doing in there. Yeah, John Cena's on Team SmackDown. When did shit happen? No, no, no. <laughs> Recently, I guess. Cena and Davey Richards on that show, but it was also uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole had broken up. They were Future Shock. Oh, okay. And holy shit, that's one of the most brutal MMA wrestling matches I've ever seen. Kyle O'Reilly spits so much blood. It. Fuck it. That's, okay, so that series that we started last week or the week before where we went back and watched an older wrestling match, that's going to be one of them. Okay. We're going to go back and we're going to watch Young Wolves Rising because that's a fucking fantastic show. I would like to watch that too. I have a ton of Ring of Honor videos we should go back and watch because every single one of them is just as good as that one, I'm sure. That's just the one that got me back in was the Kevin Steen, Davy Richards feud. I love it. But we are going to now watch uh, the Survivor Series main event. I hope it lives up to what we just saw. Davey Richard called me a dickhead once. <laughs> I think you've told that story. Probably. I mean, I tell it every time Davey Richards comes up. Yeah. Because it was really funny. All right, we're going to watch this match. All right, I need more apps. Same shit. Okay, so... Uh, I want one of you fucking go. <laughs> All right. Um... I, I'll I say feel, this. Okay, I, okay, right now? Yeah? I feel like Strowman. Yeah. What? I'll say <laughs> this. Usually, <laughs> towards the end of the pay-per-views, we're all getting a little bit tired, a little bit ready, you know, for it to be over. Usually, I'm fine, because I have to go home, and I have to edit this and get it up and all that stuff. That's why I, I try and keep my... Usually, not tonight. Tired. Yeah. I'm done. I have to go... I have to You'll be, be asleep in ten work. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, I was asleep, and somebody woke me up to watch the rest of this fucking match for yeah. some damn reason. I, I understand. I, I I regret it. Turn this off, by the way. Oh, this you is just spoilers. Don't see this. I really want to see this. Yeah, I can't wait to watch this. The the three sixty five about Kevin Owens. Yeah. Um, the five v five Survivor Series match. So, this is the thing. They've been putting such an emphasis on the younger guys. This is the new era. Ugh. The new young guys are going to be what carries it. Who the fuck did we have at the end there? Old fuckers. Triple H, Kurt Angle, Shane McMahon, and luckily, Braun Strowman. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. But, yeah, it was like, that match started with like, there's going to be some interesting shit happen. The young bucks got departed real yeah. fast. Yeah. But it was like, there were interesting moments of Team Raw fighting with each other. Uh, Team SmackDown was obviously a much more cohesive unit. The match wasn't terrible. And then it just got down to the point where it was like... It was weird. This is like a seven-year-old match. Stupid. Why are we watching this? It's stupid. And then Shane McMahon gets put in an ankle lock for at least ten minutes. (laughs) Yeah. That was the longest ankle lock of all fucking time. And Brooks was sitting there going, something's going to happen, something's going to happen. And I feel like, I wanted to say you were right, but then nothing was happening. But usually in wrestling, when something goes on for too long, somebody's about to make an entrance, something's about to happen. That's way too much of a telltale sign. That shit needs to stop. But then, for some reason, Triple H came in and pedigreed uh, Kurt, pinned him. See, uh, I think he did that for a reason. Oh, he did it for a reason, and we'll find out tomorrow. You know, it just... I don't know, man. It just After watching a great match, 
where yeah. Bob Lesnar and AJ Styles to come into a, a piece of crap shit where all the young faithful talent gets eliminated in a heartbeat and you left with you know what was left of the Attitude Era that nobody really gave a shit about in the Attitude Era right it, it was weird Kurt yeah. eliminated John Cena which I think is bullshit honestly you know it just, I don't really care about that yeah that was alright I, yeah, I don't care I, I like that I like, I like Kurt Angle no I feel like one of the young guys should have eliminated Cena uh, Braun Strowman should have eliminated Cena. Nah, I ain't never going to happen because Cena ain't never going to fucking leave. Cena ain't going to give him uh, that shit yet. Don't say that. I, I <laughs> bro, I'm sure. I, I love Cena, but he does need to... Yeah, he's backed away a lot. He, he didn't need to be in this match. I, like I, don't, I don't understand why Orton and Cena were in this match. It could have been... You could have easily put two other guys like a Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in it. But Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens did come out and kick the shit out of Shane. That was great. That was yeah, a good, that was a good I, point. I there. enjoyed that a lot. And we'll find out what's up with that on Tuesday. But let me let me bring up something real quick. Cause I know we all tired, and I'm about to fall asleep myself. But from the Raw Survivor Series team to the SmackDown Raw team was fucking stacked. Yeah, SmackDown could be a lot more better. Yeah, a lot more better. Even if Triple H wasn't even in there with Raw. It still would have been stacked. Yeah, they were a pretty stacked team. You know, and, and then at, at the end, Braun Strowman murdering Triple H was pretty great. Braun Strowman murdered everybody. Yeah, he did. He got two pins, and he got put through the table. And yeah. that was it. Yeah. He didn't fight after that. And he scared the shit out of Triple H. He did. He, was... uh, he thought Triple H was going to cross him. I think Triple H was. And then he thought better of it. And uh, Strowman just choked him out in the corner, and Triple H looked terrified. Then Strowman hit him with that running power slam. And Triple H got up way too quick from that. He did. That's why he did it again. Yeah, but I would have preferred he just did one and, and Triple H was out. I, I would have preferred him to do something else. Because the makeup from that bullshit we just saw. <laughs> that, that was fucking horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar should have been the main event. It, it, yeah. But at the same time, it's Survivor Series. It shouldn't have been. That's I would I would rather die than survive and watch that bullshit. That match could have been infinitely better. The damn girls was a little better than that shit. No, the girls' match was fine. <laughs> Good night. You don't see me. Oh, shut up, no, my, you know. I, it I didn't have any real problems with this girls' match. It wasn't fantastic, but yeah, it was the first match. match, Nigel. What I say? Match. You kept saying the girls. Did match. I say the girls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, right, Nigel. <laughs> the women's match. Well, I started it. So I apologize to all women out there that's listening to our podcast. My apologies, girls. Anyway, <laughs> the first <laughs> the first match and the second from last match were the best matches tonight. Yeah. Charlotte and Alexa had a good match. I enjoyed watching the roll around. The what? Hmm? <laughs> 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 no, nah, it was a, it was that was a good match. That was a good match. So I think, but it didn't mean nothing, though, like you said. At the end of the day, they still walk away with their fucking titles. Yeah, yeah. that Survivor Series match is going to have impl- implications from here out and out. Yeah, everybody going to be butt hurt tomorrow on Raw or today. Yeah. Because everybody want to fight. What, what's up with Joe? It's like somebody left his tortillas or something. Or I, think, I think he's just a heel. That's why he was messing with everybody. That was stupid. Yeah. It was like five to like three. The, all of Raw was just fighting each other, which I, I don't understand. I'll tell you one thing. Even though that was stupid, I might just have to watch the Raw to see what happens. Especially you know what with Triple H doing that to Kurt Angle and all that. Nope. What was really stupid, though? <laughs> huh? They don't have me. They didn't, you didn't give me this time. <laughs> I just ain't football but very stupid tomorrow. So what annoyed me that. was uh, Joe and Finn getting into a fight. Kurt tried to get involved. Try to be the adult, and then Triple H came over, and Kurt and Triple H got into like a little five year old fight. It was like, what the fuck are you two doing? That's just setting up. First of all, why the they, fuck is Triple H? But they could have done this so much better. You know what could have been so much better? If you Everything. let the old fucking guys out and let the younger generation raise the ball. Here's the thing if the older guys somehow fucked each other over and put a younger guy over, letting them. Something could have happened to where the young, the older guys could have got eliminated because of a younger guy, and that and they could have brawled on the outside. Triple H and Kurt, 
They could have got eliminated from the match. And I don't even have a problem with Randy and Cena. They're, I don't really consider them necessarily old timers. I do. They're like mid timers. Nah, hell no. Hell. Not, not like Triple H and Kurt. They was re- Randy Orton and John Cena was in the same time as Kurt was. They were before Kurt. Or, I mean, after Kurt. Not that far. Not too far. Okay. You're looking at me for confirmation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess in my mind, it's like Angle and... Well, it was Triple H and then Angle sometime after and then Orton and Cena towards the end of Angle's Angle thing. was never in the Attitude Era. Right. right? He, yeah, was he, in was. Tri- he was like at yes, the he, end. He, he, no, he was in the Attitude Era. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. He was. Or was he in the Ruthless Aggression? Yeah, the Ruthless Aggression. Because that's, that's... I like think of Angle more of a Ruthless Angle Aggression. Because Angle was attitude, then when Stone Cold turned heel, he turned to the funny guy with Stone Cold and... Uh, yeah, that's true. Dressing Man and, okay, and yeah. was together. When Deborah started being with Stone Cold a lot. Yeah, it's still kind of the end of it. The though. invasion shit. It was the end of it. Yeah. When they started doing invasion stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, like Triple H and Kurt are kind of their own generation... Oh, guys. What? Are we doing the... The best of the generation thing? No. no. Are we Are we labeling wrestlers... Are they like the baby boomer wrestlers. We got the, <laughs> the millennial you, wrestlers. But you can. You definitely can. You have the ruthless aggression guys. You have the attitude era. Which we need to do that on a second yeah, We're, we're going to do that on a podcast. We, we're going to we talk about the best podcast. from every era. But, but yeah, then there is the Ruthless Aggression era, which is John Cena and Randy Orton. And Batista, and yeah. Well, from the Brock Lesnar. Um, okay, yeah. And then we had all the... Then the NXT era. Yeah. Yeah. When the crowd was actually chanting NXT with... Because it was and NXT guys and they're showing out. Nakamura doing amazing. See, and let me rephrase what I was saying wrong with Stack. Samoa and Joe, Finn Balor, who else? Ron Strowman. Strowman. Kurt Angle and Triple H. Take out them two old fuckers. Yeah. Those three right there alone. Two. You were talking about a match earlier that was like Rey Mysterio. and. Oh, that was from 2005. Survivor yeah, but that Series. was like all current guys. It was, which you would call young guys at that time. See, in that match, Bobby Lashley was in there. Batista, JBL was wrestling in there. Okay, so JBL was probably the only... But that was when JBL was like a douche. That was not JBL in his prime. Yeah. So I wouldn't consider him an old-timer. He was an old-timer, but it, he, that was also like his time to shine. Well, that was then, his prime. I, then we do that, then none of these guys are really old-timers then. None of these guys are in their prime. Not like JBL was. JBL came into his own at that time period. No, I think it's a little before that. And the Acolytes? See, I think JBL's way more because interesting when, as JBL. Because when JBL lost the cowboy hat and the cowboy boots, yeah. that's when he came on. That's yeah. when he started hanging with Farouk, and they, they just started the Acolyte stuff. Right, then after that, he became the millionaire. Then after that, he just yeah. he took off. Which I feel like is probably about that time. Yeah. We, we, well, we yeah, have to we, figure it yeah, out. Yeah, it just... But it was mostly just current guys, rather than now it was like some current guys and a bunch of old-timers. Which is just weird because they keep talking about how they're pushing the young talent. No young Which most of the show was. That. I just. I, I don't know, man. It just like. I don't even know who's on the SmackDown roster. That, I can't keep track. That's the other thing, too. We don't really keep track of it weekly. No. So. So, War Games was definitely infinitely better. Yep. Half, like half the time? They should do the War Games. They should have done a War Games. Why not? I, I like NST did it, but uh, you know what? I'm a, no, no. Let NST do it because they'll yeah. fuck it up. Yeah, fair enough. They, they will find a way to fuck it up. I yeah. ain't saying that, but that's the damn truth. They it would, well, it would have just been shit. this match. They fucked up. <laughs> so War Games wins, bringing animously. Oh, Brooks yeah. hasn't even seen it. <laughs> I don't even see. It. I already know it won. NXT wins every time. Every time. Every time. Which, uh, it, That's why we were talking about Oh No not getting a title shot yet. Fine. Yeah. Keep we're done calling NXT. NXT developmental, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got its own show. So. Yeah. It's not developmental yeah, anymore. NXT like, did its own thing. It'd be fine. Because they... It pretty much does. Because they have you know. people before they get on NXT TV. 
Yeah, people before we see them at our NXT house shows. Yeah. Like that's Lars developmental. Sullivan. Okay. Yes, it's, it's called the same thing, right. but... Like, it's almost like NXT has their own development. NXT. Gotcha. Like, when, when before they even step, rain, step foot in their NXT arena, they got developed. That's the developmental stage. I just, yeah. I feel like you don't get called up anymore. You just get transferred to another show. Kinda, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and then that fucked that over, point. usually. Yeah. When, you, when you're in NXT, that's basically every night is your tryout to make it to the main roster. So you're not even developed no more. You're there, you just wait for your time to come. Yeah. Yeah, wait until they can use you. And then when they use you, you end up in like New Japan or some shit after like a month or two. Yeah. Or Ring of Honor or some shit. <laughs> because they, uh. I, don't I know, just. Man. Like, we would never get a Velveteen Dream versus Aleister Black on the main roster. That match wouldn't get over like it did on NXT. That's true. I think that's a topic for a whole other show, though. Let me yeah. ask you. I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. So, something just popped in my Pardon head. Pardon the interruption. Pardon the interruption. I'm not the dude from Pardon the Interruption. <laughs> I'm the coach fucking Brooks. Anyway, I just had to say that, Brian. What if <laughs> Triple H took over, Vince went in retirement and moved to Florida, Triple H took over, and he brought the Bullet Club in. God damn it, it's freaking horse. <laughs> <laughs> You mean, okay, bring the Bullet Club mm. in? They brought the whole Bullet Club in the WWE. Okay, so but instead Triple of... Triple H took over. Instead of just paying them like I'm sure they are now, you just... They actually get put on TV? Uh, yeah, that would be the biggest thing ever. ever. And like, like I said... Oh, fuck New like Japan, Like I said, though. Vince ain't in control of what Triple H is. Right, yeah. Exactly. I think things would be what would, would be better. Yeah. And I think the first WrestleMania after Vince is over, whether it's uh, kicking the bucket or it's gonna have to be kicking the bucket. Probably he's no, not. I don't, I don't and I, I say that not saying yeah. I hope he does. Right. I'm just exactly. saying yeah. that's when Vince is gonna give it up. I don't. I don't think. I think it's before he kicks the bucket. I hope so. Cause I think but, you know if I was Vince, man, I said, all right, look, it's yours. I want to see how he does by himself. Well, that's what NXT is. Yeah. You know? But NXT ain't the, the main roster, though. Yeah. If he could do what he did in NXT to SmackDown Raw and make and SmackDown Raw NXT even better, huh, I'll go ahead and lay in that casket and die. Hold on. Mur- Murder Horse is here. What did you think of the show, Murder Horse? Sorry. Oh. I love Death Clock. <laughs> I haven't listened to Death Clock in a long time. That's, that was for my daughter. We do that. I get a bear, stuffed bear. Yeah. I'm the bear head thing, and she jumps up and down singing. I gotta show you. I gotta show you. She said, Daddy, do the bop bops. Do the bop bops. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. (laughs) Murhorse says bullshit. I wish I could name the episode that. (laughs) One of these podcasts, we gotta do who's the best of all time. But we said we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do the best from every era. That's what I meant. Yeah. But we gotta let's do our research first. Yeah, and we, y'all help us do our research too on that. Yeah, let us know who you think is the best from every era, or Comment let us know below. why you're wrong about the who's best of all time. Because <laughs> I don't think you can put that on anybody. Click like and subscribe. Well, WWE okay, yeah, best yeah, of all time. You know that's movie. gonna be the easiest thing. That's another episode, though. Thank you for listening, guys, <laughs> to the future. Who's podcast. the best of all time in CMLL? <laughs> Are we ever gonna end this podcast? No. Nah. No. Nah. Says no. Nah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Future Heels podcast. Yeah, I'm about to play some copyrighted music. So I'm sorry I didn't see this bullshit tonight, but good grief. Now I'm on some goddamn coke. Don't you two want to go home? All right, I, I am home. I am Brian, Brian Man Peacock. You can find I'm, me on Twitter at Brian Man 25, Instagram Brian Man 1138. <laughs> go ahead, Brooks. That over there. I'm going to. Okay. What's your stuff? <clears throat> Sorry. Coach Brooks over here. The Coach Brooks. You can find me on Twitter at JeremyBrooks42. Facebook, Jeremy Brooks. Instagram, JBrooks42. I think I can't remember. <laughs> Actually, they're all written in the, the description. There you go. Oh, so we need to do this. No, we do. All right, tell them. Tell them so we can go. I, go ahead. You're, you're hosting now. Go ahead and tell them all my social man. medias. Arr. All right. I don't know how to spell the name. I, I can't spell villain, so you're going to have to do this. Okay, you can find this episode on iTunes, on YouTube, not on SoundCloud anymore. 
Uh, you can also find it on our website with all a bunch of other awesome content, including uh, we're going to do the Destiny raid soon. We did the Nightfall Strike, and which is just a ton of Destiny 2 stuff coming out with me and my, myself. Me, you and yourself. <laughs> me, myself, and Irene. Who the hell is that? Me, Bearded Gaming Entertainment, uh, Juicy Leg, everybody you love. Mute, pause this. I want to watch this, whatever you're showing. Um, you can find everything on our website, FewTrueVillains.com. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm. You can find me on Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming. Instagram, Best of the Realm. You can find me on YouTube, Best of the Realm. It was a cat. You can find me on Twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm where I stream Destiny 2. All right, let's stop. You guys are fucking pissing me off.